First at five storms that rolled through the mid south this morning left tens of thousands of MLDW customers in the dark at one point, causing some businesses to open later. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock and I'm Greg Hurst. WREG Shea Arthur is live tonight with details and Shay, what did you find out? Hey Greg, hey Stephanie. Well, it's still pretty windy out here this evening and some good news tonight though. The majority of those people who did lose power had the lights back on this evening. MLGW says the severe weather damaged three substations causing those widespread outages. Heavy rain, high winds, packing a punch as spring storms spanned the Mid-South. Yeah, I was out in it. I had to take my son. Uh, to catch a flight at the airport, and so we were right in the middle of it. Others wondering if online classes would be held. Well, I was waiting to hear if they were going to say, oh, we don't have class now. At one point, 40,000 MLGW customers were in the dark. The utility company says teams successfully rerouted power and were able to restore it to 99% of customers in just under two hours. The outages set back some businesses, like this Jersey Mike's in Bartlett, that opened late, citing the storms. The weather also affected this Walgreens off Stage Road in Kirby Witten. They said the power was out and uh, they're having to reboot all their computer systems and registers. Today, MLGW reiterated to us, fallen trees and branches are the leading cause of power outages. Saying as of March 28th, MLGW has completed 802 miles of its 1,491 mile tree trimming goal. That goal is set for September of this year. People we talk to are hopeful the tree trimming will make a difference as we look ahead to spring storm season. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, they need to do that, get them away from the power lines, because that's what causes a lot of it. When tree limbs go down, it's power lines, the power goes down. And for more information about those tree trimming efforts, you can go to our website, WRG.com. Just click on the story. We're live downtown tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Shay. Well